Carl and Damon here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life. GBHPL.com for sure. It is! They made one into a TV series and we're up to episode 6 of season 2 of Castlevania, one, The River. Oh, it's a big one. It is a big one. But you knew it from the last one that something had to happen in this. And there's some spectacular, yep. spectacular moments in this. You will ne I will never not love seeing that <laughs> castle teleport. Uh, written by Warren Ellis and directed by Sam Dietz. The night creatures are trying to break into the library. There are a lot of them and they seem powerful. I love the distinction. You know what I love about the night creatures? It's not just a horde of the same looking things. No, no, There's different, different variations, different. monsters. And these ones are particularly seem... Well, we, we know they're different. They're tough. Yeah, the, that, that one would be sort of like... Um, the mum, jewel in his eye and the blade. Yeah, yeah. Around his, uh, yeah. yeah, and then you've got like a big beastly kind of colossal style one. They're trying to break through the seal. Mm. You've got like the seal to be broken with a magic sword one of them is trying to use. And then you've got the other one pounding on it. Inside, Trevor asks if they get the mirror working. Uh, Alucard is tasked with fixing the mirror. Trevor's going to fight with Cypher finishing the spell. Uh, here, Alucard kind of forces Trevor, be a freaking leader, be a Belmont, yes. step up, tell me what you need to do. Tell me what we need to do. And this is when they agree. And Trevor goes up to meet the attacking forces, who we've seen have broken a magical seal. Uh, we do get some comedy, because Trevor is an idiot. Yep. At heart, as he attempts to barricade a door. He's got one board, and he's like... Yeah. And he just leans it on the door... And the door swings open and just falls down, and yeah, I was just like, "Good God, Trevor!" He hasn't really discussed. As Alec was saying, it's, it's, it's now time for you to step up to your family name, you know, and be I, a Belmont. Yeah, yeah. But we do get these reminders that he's, uh, and I think we need these moments of levity as well because yeah. there's nobody else that can give us the like the amusing moments mm -hmm. beyond Trevor. I mean, if, if, if he had a bottle of drink in his hand, it would have been the first episodes. Yes, of him still drink, still drinking. Exactly yeah. that. Alucard finds the castle in the mirror as we see Dracula is going to move the castle. And he completes the task. Oh, I love the process of the castle oh, moving. Just the imagery. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. And he moves it to Brelia, outside Brelia. As again, we talked about it the last time we watched, but I love that when the castle appears, the destruction it uh, yeah. causes. Yeah. As it would. As he talks to himself, though, he does reveal he doesn't care about the vampires either. Mm. He's tired of it all. He knows they will die eventually when the humans are gone. So, yeah. Now I'm kind of leaning towards maybe he needs to be stopped. Yeah, so basically, basically he wants to end the entire world. That's the problem. Yeah. He wants to end everything. The people of Braley are hit by the resulting storm that comes from the castle being moved outside the city. And Alucard watches the castle move in the mirror. Mm. He sees that actually happening. Trevor starts doing battle with the night creatures. We get a lot of Trevor fighting here, a yeah. lot of blood, a lot of violent attacks and stuff. I'd say a large portion of this episode is that, actually. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. I'd say it's not always the most interesting of fights. Um, so it's often, you know? Trevor's fights, not, not, not so much. Mm. No, yeah, I, I think it's more like the Dracula part side fight, but it's more in entertaining. Yeah. At Brayla, uh, the vampire journals lead their troops across a bridge to attack the town. So basically, it's a port town. Uh, sitting in the sea, and there's a bridge going across it. Uh, we see Hector and Carmilla, and a reanimated bishop watching. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? What? I knew, I, I knew that was going to happen, because there was a reason why that they kept... Yeah, but did you, you could never have known what the plan no, was, no, no, right? No, no, the no, plan no. is quite spectacular. Is, yeah. Absolutely. As Carmilla orders the bishop to bless the river, because river, even in death he has that ability. Yep. And doing so destroys the night creature, because it basically is standing in the water, because what's it doing? Making the water holy. Yeah. And like the penny drop moment, if you're like, oh, if that bridge comes down, yep. they're all dropping in the holy water. Yep. Ooh. As the vampire lords cross the bridge, Camilla's troops reveal themselves on the other side and bring down the bridge, dropping many of Dracula's soldiers to be destroyed by the holy water. Yep. I do like the imagery of them uh, burning yeah, in the it's water. It's pretty horrible. Yeah, it is horrible, yeah. It is pretty horrible. And uh, the remaining forces see that are like, well, that fucked up, yep. and head back to the castle. <laughs> Trevor continues to battle, one after another. Each one is devastating as the last. One thing I could say about Trevor's fighting, his war here, is that it's not like, here's one enemy dead, here's no. one enemy dead. Each one is a war. It was a, str it was a struggle too. Yeah, the night creatures that uh, Hector sent were the powerful ones. Yeah. Carmilla's soldiers now start to cross the river on very cleverly made makeshift bridges to get to the castle. Carmilla drags Hector with her, telling him that he can't go back to the castle now. He belongs to her. He's basically lost it all. Felt sorry for Hector yeah. here. He kind of got well and truly fucked here. Yep, indeed. Cypher, meanwhile, finishes the spell and meets with Alucard in the mirror as she starts 
the process. I love that she didn't actually tell them the plan. Nope. And Alec was like, "What we 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 where are you going to move? The, what are we what are we going to do? I'm bringing a castle here. Well, on top of us. And well, she doesn't say on top yet. Oh, That's oh, going to oh, be yes, at the yes, end. Yes, she's yeah, like, yeah. "I'm bringing a castle here." And I was like, yeah, yeah. "That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this." The two vampire armies begin to battle in the castle's main hall. Isaac reports to Dracula, reveals the betrayal. Dracula, of course, reveals it's Camilla. I do like the fact that he, he kind of knew it. Yeah. He's just kind of like she's made a move. Like he knew it was coming. Yeah. So he, 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 this is this was the part which I was a little slightly disappointed with. Um, because Go because I, 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 when he got up out of the chair and walked out of the door. Oh, so right. I, 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 let I, me get I, to yeah, that yeah, point. Yeah, You're yeah. jumping ahead. Yeah, yeah. I was just pleased that he recognised Camilla's move he knew, and he, so on. He, he he knew from from the from the start from from the moment she walked through. There was always something was always going to happen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he does get up ready, ready. He does get up ready in some battle, but there's a brief flicker, a brief flicker, mm -hmm. and as it was like, "What's that?" And Dracula's like, I'm "Not sure," because obviously, you, you know, why would he think that? Yep. So on, um, yeah. So go on. What you were, what were you saying? Yeah. So like so, 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 this, this scene, I, 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 when obviously they're all fighting in the hall, when then Dracula walks out with Isaac and a few of his uh, so, uh, minions, not, yeah, minions, yeah. I really, I, I was just wanted to see him just. It's not now. It's just, not ready. I, 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 no, I, I know. but it's, it, it's like he, 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 I got the impression from I, I, after he didn't do well. Wait, I didn't get the impression that it's like he's seen it all crumble around him. So, like, so, so is this going to spur him on to? I think the problem is you're trying to preempt what comes next. Yes, yes. Sometimes in your head, he doesn't even get a chance. You could argue here. Because Cypher activates the mechanism within the castle. Yeah, like two seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but she's having trouble with its power and weight. She describes it as being like a water wheel yeah. and something else, like pushing and pulling at the same time. Yeah. Uh, while this has happened, Trevor is still trying to hold the night creatures. He's kind of getting lowered and lowered <laughs> into the as he fights them off. Because Draca arrives in the hall and now sees the castle as being moved. The mechanism is activated. He sees it around him. He never gets a chance to fight. Nope. He has no, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. And uh, in a spectacular moment, Cypher ends up causing the castle to basically try to keep hold of it and move it to teleport around Braillio and all these different fucking areas, mm. which even Carmilla has to like watch and on. It's just like, the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah. And, there's a, and it ends up, she teleports it into the river as well, which lowers the bottom half into it, killing most of yeah. the vampire factions and... Let's be honest, destroying the bloody city. Oh, yeah, DJ. Yeah. Uh, Brayla does not come off okay out of this. But again, um, Dracula is able to take Isaac and yeah. get up high. But we talked about the um, uh, the graphics and yeah. the, the, the wave of the water. Yeah, Spectacular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, Cypher succeeds and the castle leaves Brayla. And there's not much left aside from Hector and Carmilla, who delivers. I love that even for all her confidence and all of that, when things don't happen, yeah. you see her shaking and she's wide eyed. Goggled, confused, and simply says, "What the fuck just happened?" That's yeah. her line. What the fuck just happened? Because that was never part of the plan. Well, what just the, happened? Yeah, effectively, her entire army got wiped out. Well, so, yeah, yeah, and where's the castle got? Like, it could really throw a span in the works. Like, what happened? Yeah. But of course, we know what happened. Cipher has brought the castle to the Belmont Estate, and at the same time, disables the castle's mechanisms. Mm. It ain't going anywhere. It's here now. Oh. She brought it to the Belmont Estate. <laughs> Literally, on, on top of, of the Belmont Estate. As Alucard's like, oh. <laughs> as things start to move above them. Realising that the library, the weight of the castle <laughs> on this pretty old place, is probably going to bring this down. And I thought it was really interesting as well, which means the Belmont history is about to be buried yes. as well. Yeah. Uh, so you kind of see where we're going here as well. Yep. We're stepping out of the past into the bright new future where that legacy and history is lost to the ground yeah basically like, it's, um, everything's going to be rewritten, re re uh, rewritten but also the only way out is exactly. through Dracula's castle yep. so you're kind of not getting away from this one either I also got um, a little bit of concern for, for Alucard because I I, I, I I still don't think he's ready to fight his father yeah? which you're right the yeah, last yeah, line yeah. I wrote of the notes is Alucard takes one last look at the mirror before following yeah. her you're right it's because he's not ready he's but not he knows ready. he doesn't really have much of a choice anymore he's going to have to get there and deal with it yep and that's what we're going to do in the penultimate final episodes. We're here. This is what we want to be at. Yep. I love it. 
I love it. I mean, I was, I've seen this before, but I still watched, even though I'm doing notes, I watched this attentively. With that, just that, the brailler bit, the whole section. Mm. I love how her plan works so well and so perfectly. Yep. But it was Belmont and uh, Cypher that kind of screwed up that aspect of yep. it. But then in turn, wiping out untold members of vampires. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So do you know what I mean? Her army and Dracula's generals. Generals and all of that in one swell um, hit. Even though she never planned it, oh, it was a complete and utter accident. Yep. You know? um, I love the way she also describes Hector a lot. She's mm. as a child. You're a child. You're a puppet. You know, and his... He can't, he can't do anything. You know? Without doing any spoilers, people, if you know like I do, season three is Hector's season. Uh, you know, um, you know, Hector is an important character. But so is Isaac as well. Let's yeah, not forget yeah, that. Yeah. And, you know, we're not done yet with... We're not done yet with Carmilla, Dracula and all the rest no, no, as well. No, We've no, got no, two no. more episodes to see how this plays out. For now, this is episode six, The River. You got any thoughts and you know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL. Games, horror, and heavy metal. What else is life for?